Okay, welcome to this PKHS tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a fluid simulation where there is a continuous flow of fluid rather than a, a like a instant drop falling like you would a regular fluid. So let's get started. First we're going to just hit one to go in the front view right here and I'm going to zoom in rolling the um, mouse wheel. I'm going to hit Z to go into wireframe. Now, now I'm going to shift A, add uh, an icosphere. And I'm going to size it down. And I'm going to grab it up, grab it with G, and pull it up into the corner of my cube. And size it down fairly small. Now I'm going to hit 7 on the numpad to go into top view and move it over into the corner. Like so. So now, I'm going to go over here to the physics panel, this little button right here, and I'm going to hit my cube, and I'm going to enable fluid for it, and under the type, I'm going to make it a domain. Now I'm going to go to the folder, hit the little folder button that was down there, and I'm going to find the folder I want to save the cache in, and create a new directory, I'm going to just do 7. I'm doing number and accept that. Okay. So now I'm going to select my icosphere. I might pull it down just a little bit, make it just a little bit smaller. Oh, I'm sizing with S. S is size, G is grab, R is rotate. And if you hit R twice, it'll it's a free rotate, which I like, which is really cool, I think. Okay, so now I'm going to go to over here and hit fluid. And, and usually when you're doing a fluid, you'll just hit fluid. And it'll make it so that that one object right there is like a water droplet and just falls on your domain, which is kind of the area that your fluid is like has to be in. It won't go outside of the domain. So uh, instead of fluid, though, for this, we're going to do inflow right here. We're going to hit inflow. And for the volume initialization, we're going to make it both instead of shell or volume. And I'm going to change the inflow velocity because I want it to flow. I think I'm in top view. No, that's top view. Because I want it to flow sort of diagonally. This is a view from the top. And then flow down, which is how I'm going to want it. So I'm going to set my x value. x is the red, and so it's going to go this way. So I'm going to set my x value to about 1. And then I'm going to hit tab to go down to the next row, and I'm going to hit 0.5. And so it ought to go in about a kind of a diagonal motion, right? It'll flow in that motion right there. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to select my cube again, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to, um, yeah, that'll be fine. All those settings are fine. Okay, so now I'm going to hit bake. And this will probably take a little while, so while it bakes, I will pause the recorder, and hopefully when it's done, which might be a little while, you can see the result. Okay, so now it's done. So as I play the animation, you'll see it's kind of flowing outwards, like, like that. So I'm going to hit Alt-A to pause the animation, and I'm going to hit B to go out of wireframe mode. I might have gotten a little close to the wall right there, but I suppose that's alright. Oh, I remember what, what I did. I put the, for this, I put it 0.5. That should have been negative 0.5, but I'm not going to go back and redo that right now. It's fine. So now I'm going to select this, my fluid, and I'm going to hit Smooth. And I'm not going to need this icosphere anymore. So I'm just going to X, delete it. Okay. So now I'm going to just add a material. I'm going to select the fluid and go to my materials tab. And I'm going to make it a bluish color. That's probably good to turn the intensity of it up some. And I'm going to go down here to transparency and enable that. And I'm going to make it ray trace instead of the regular Z transparency. Now to make it transparent, you just turn the alpha down 
and as you can see in the viewport right here it's making it kind of transparent and I'm going to turn the IOR up to give it some distortion so that it looks more like distorted water sort of and now let's see I think this light will not be how I want it so I'm going to select the light and instead of a point light, point light I'm going to make it a hemi which will be just full color so now I'm going to see if that looks okay yeah I think that looks alright and I'm going to hit F12 on the keyboard to render it and yeah that looks like some pretty decent water right there so hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any more suggestions of tutorials I should do just let me know in the comments and thanks for watching